welcome back for another video. In today's video we'll be exploring the best captain picks for gaming 12. The international break is drawing to a close, FPL is back and this game week is a Saturday deadline. As always we've shortlisted the three top picks to consider for captaincy this game week. Just before we jump in, today's video is sponsored by OneFootball which is a free app on both iOS and Android, a link to the apps at the top of the description. From an FPL perspective, I recommend giving it a try, not just because it supports the channel, but it's a genuinely good app for its features such as the lineups, live scores, goal scorers, assists, news and more. When you first open the app, it'll ask you which team is your favourite, or if you don't have one, you can simply skip the step. You can also favourite competitions such as the Premier League. Thank you again to OneFootball. To download the app, simply hit the link at the top of the description. Enjoy the video. First up is Ronaldo, whose ownership still sits around 31%, despite not yet hitting the highs many had speculated for his return, and the best could still be yet to come. However, he faces a Watford side who are still yet to keep a clean sheet this season. We've not seen any sort of new manager bounce from Watford, with just a single win and the rest all losses under Ranieri. So there's still a team to target, and Watford are fourth worst for expected goals conceded this season on 1805 XGC. Watford have given up 95 shots in the box and conceded a big chance every 43 minutes. Despite Man United's poor form, Ronaldo's still done relatively well in all competitions, with 9 goals and an assist in 13 appearances. Man United haven't won a penalty since Bruno's miss, however there's speculation that Ronaldo will take the next one, which only adds to his appeal. Solskjaer's under huge pressure and subsequently must pick up maximum points over the next 3 games, so it's incredibly hard to see anything other than a comfortable United win. Next up is Mo Salah, who's top for predicted points in Game Week 12 with 7.92 points. This season he's also top for expected goals, big chances created and shots in the box among all players. All three of which are useful metrics for predicting attacking output. Salah's also 50 points clear as the highest scoring player, so it's hard to look beyond him with the form he's shown all season long. However, he faces an Arsenal side who have conceded only 4 goals in the last 8 games since Ramsdale made his debut and broke into the starting 11. Over that period they've kept 5 clean sheets and given up 9 big chances which is the fewest in the league. Liverpool will be without Firmino who's going to be a huge miss off the back of his long term injury which could sideline him for 6 weeks. Likewise other potential absentees include Mane, Henderson, Keita and Milner. With so many players out it could have a negative impact on their offence and we may even see the likes of Origi getting the nod to start if Mane misses out. Salah is very likely to once again be the most captain player. However, if you're looking for a differential, we've got one final player for you to consider. The final pick is Xiongmin Sun, who faces Leeds at home, who have kept just one clean sheet in their 11 games played, which came against Watford in Game Week 7. Leeds have conceded the most chances through the centre this season, with 51 conceded. This could suit both Kane and Son. You could make the argument for captain in Kane too. However, over the course of the season, Suns had better underlying numbers in almost every metric, including shots, shots in the box, expected goals and expected assists. So we'll back the data with this final pick. Son has 4 goals and 2 assists for the season, and has already hit double digit points in 3 of his 10 starts. With the captaincy, we always want to target the high ceiling players, which Son certainly is. Tottenham have an excellent run of games coming up, starting from game week 12 and a potential new manager bounce could coincide perfectly for a top differential captain pick in Son. That wraps up today's video, drop a comment and let us know who you've got the armband on, I read every comment. And for now thank you for watching today's video and please remember to leave a like to support the channel. If you're new to the channel hit subscribe so you don't miss future content. And if you're interested in the team selection of the top 100 all time FBL players, a link to that's on screen now.